using Instagram to go ahead and pay for hotels. How do you schedule this stuff and is it actually possible to go ahead and travel full time for free. Hey, what's going on guys? If you're new to the channel, you don't know who I am. My name's Anthony. I run a 1 million follower network on Instagram and I also run an Instagram marketing agency. I'm actually coming to you guys from a hotel that we are currently doing a collab with. So I actually do this stuff. I don't just make videos and talk about it and just recycle shit from the next guy. So as you guys know, I'm in New York City and this was actually a question asked to me from one of you guys basically asking, you know, is this actually realistic? Can it actually happen? And mainly about how do you actually schedule something like this you know how far in advance would you say stuff like that so when you want to go ahead you have your network build up and you have your travel pages and everything like that and now you want to go ahead and actually create a trip when should you do the scheduling okay I like to do the scheduling about two to three months in advance now while that may seem like a very long time in advance it's gonna be much easier for you to go ahead and work things around if you just wait a few weeks before what happens if you like you know none of the hotels are saying yes or if you can't string together a good you know system a good flow because you want to go ahead and get hotels and create a plan you know of like okay we have a B and C you don't want to be staying at A and then B and then C. You want to string something together that is ultimately going to be a lot smoother for you. And you don't want to be, you know, lugging your bags around, you know, from, you know, A to Z to B to X. You know, you want to have everything very convenient for you. Also, by scheduling two to three months in advance, not only does it give you enough time to organize, it also gives the hotel enough time to organize, okay? They can actually go ahead and, you know, make something work um, and talk it over with other people. When you give a hotel just a few weeks, sometimes that really isn't enough, especially if these are big hotels that takes multiple people to actually make a final decision, you have to give them more time. When you're reaching out to the hotels, Google is fine. Type in a country you want to go to, figure out where you want to go, where you want to plan this trip, and just start Googling. You need to start researching. There is no list of hotel collabs. Some people are going to want to collab with you. Some people aren't, and some people aren't, aren't even going to know what you're talking about. And through explaining it to them, they might actually want to go ahead and do it. This stuff has been around for a really long time. Time. it's nothing new the only thing new about it is Instagram influencers doing it before people like us were doing it it was people who owned newspapers people who owned media companies TV stations they were the ones doing it as an Instagram influencer you can go ahead and step in for much cheaper and actually give them better distribution of content to a target audience so while you're doing some research on this country make sure you also research the weather you know what's the weather probably gonna be like when you go there you don't want to go somewhere uh, in a season where it might be super cold or it might be very rainy so always know you know about what the weather is going to be also make sure that you know what season it is as far as is it gonna be really busy when you go or is it gonna be really slow when you go it is a lot easier to go ahead and land hotel partnerships when you're going in a slower season so right now it's New York it's June it's pretty busy out here we missed out on quite a few deals just because of how busy it was and hotels were already sold out had we came here you know a few months before or even a few months later we probably would have had a few extra deals going on for us so just by checking the weather and by checking, you know, whether it's going to be busy season or slow season for, for tourists, you can get better deals and you can get more deals and extend your travel length. As far as going ahead and doing this absolutely full time, is it possible? Yes. Is it realistic? I mean, that's kind of opinion based. In my opinion, it is not realistic to go ahead and actually do this full time 365 days a year. Okay. Now, if you did, if you decided, you know what, I want to do this 365 days a year, I'm going to be emailing hotels, you know, not stop just working 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 what's gonna happen is you're going to burn out going from hotel to hotel to hotel most hotels don't give you more than you know two days per night unless you're putting together a really good package so what's gonna happen is through doing all this work you're just not gonna be able to keep up and lugging your bags and it's so tiring after a while what's more realistic if you wanted to go ahead and do this full-time is to do maybe two or three partnerships in a row and then go ahead and just pay for your own hotel for a night and get a ton of work done and take a day for yourself if you want to make it work full time, you're not going to be able to do it by doing uh, partnership after partnership. It's going to have to be like two or three partnerships and then going ahead and taking a day to yourself to get work done and to just enjoy where you are. Another thing that you can do this for and what I like to use it for is to simply extend vacations, right? So if I ever wanted to 
go to any country and you know I could afford to go for a week through my Instagram pages I could actually afford to go for two weeks because I could add in some hotel collabs maybe I have a whole hotel uh, collab set for maybe I got like five hotel collabs and then I got seven days of hotels that I'm paying for well now I just extended my vacation from seven days to 12 days and I did not increase the price at all am I doing some work yes but guess what I'm also enjoying where I am for a much longer time so you can get a much better deals whether you're going on vacation you can include some work on top of that if you're doing this you're probably going to be kind of a digital nomad or you have some type of digital uh, digital business so you're gonna be getting content right you're getting content so if you want to you know go to a city nearby you and get some really cool content you do some hotel collabs you basically get to record cool content just like I'm doing now you can record content absolutely free while you're traveling and honestly it all just kind of flows in together and it's just something really fun to do on the side even if you're not charging the hotels and you're just doing you know free for a stay it's still something pretty cool to do in the long run you save a ton of money and you can travel much longer than you usually would on a smaller budget if you guys want to learn this stuff a little more in depth you know get scripts learn how to actually grow your travel pages so you can go and land deals get the email scripts get the templates um, and turn Instagram to a full-time business for yourself I do have a free training I'll leave that linked in the description of this video if you're serious about Instagram you have to take that training it will completely change your mindset and completely change the way you view the entire Instagram platform with all that said make sure if you guys like this video give it a like for me go ahead and comment let me know what you think and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet we go over the most up-to-date working Instagram strategies in 2018 no fluff stuff that actually gets you results so make sure you hit that subscribe button once again hope you guys took massive value out of this video keep grinding keep hustling and I'll see you all on the next one